Hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Uninvited. We are... Um, okay, we just made it to the kitchen. And we are going to grab one of these knives. Doesn't really matter which one you take. Uh, either one of them will do the same job. Uh, we'll just open these doors. Can't really see them up on top map, so gotta open them down here. I think that's all that's important in this room, so we'll head over to the pantry and we'll grab. Come on. There we go. Cook the matches. And I think that's all that we need here. And over this way, we've got. Whoever had occupied this room must have been satisfied with small accommodations. The lack of dust tells you that this is a servant's room. Hmm. So let's see what we can do here. I don't think there's anything important that we need to take. Uh, yeah, nothing in the bureau. But there is one special thing about this room. You can pull on this little string turn the lamp on and the picture moves but then suddenly a spirit covered in chains stands before you this is my room who let you in here draken must have sent you you cannot have it you cannot have my precious i have hidden it no you must leave leave me and my precious alone Yes, all alone. Okay, um, so the servant apparently has some relation to Gollum. Um, going on about his precious, but, um, I don't think we can, um, beat him yet. There's some other stuff that we need to do. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. You now have the question have to question the reliability of your eyes. You think you see a somewhat cute abstract creature with a key in its hand prance by. Well, that's interesting. Uh, this room must be some sort of trophy room. You feel sorry for the animals that were killed only for sport. Uh, Oh well. Open the door. Um, a lot of people would probably like to do this, but you can't take the shotgun. Oh well. But you can take the cage. Now we're going to move outside. You're in the backyard. In the distance, you can see three buildings. You should leave what you don't need here. Now I'm not sure... Um, I'm not sure how many things you can actually throw away, but uh, if you happen to take the ruby from back in, um, I believe it was the guest bedroom, you can drop it here so that you don't die. Anyway, um, I don't remember which room is m which one we need to go to first, but I think the first one, or the center one, we can do everything we need. You stand before the greenhouse. The glass is covered with dust. Now, first we'll open the door. We will also turn on the faucet. Go we'll ahead inside. The plants within this greenhouse are very dead. This is the only empty flower pot in the greenhouse. Its dry soil needs watering. It's a metal watering can. It must be used for watering the plants. You can hear water sloshing around in the can. So we'll use the water... Okay, fine. We'll take the watering can, and then we'll use it. Water streams from the can into the hardened, cracked soil, and a tiny sprout has pushed its nose out of the dry dirt. I think there's enough water in the can to use it twice. 
Water streams from the can into the hardened, cracked soil. The previously lifeless clay pot now sports a lush green plant. And I'm pretty sure that now the watering can is uh, empty. So we'll use the watering can on this stream of water. As you fill the watering can, it starts getting heavy. And we will use the watering can again on water streams from the can into the hardened cracked soil. Wow, the plant suddenly bears fruit. And we will take that fruit. Uh, I know we need to use it, although honestly I can't remember where. But we'll figure that out when we get to it. As you approach the building, you see that it is guarded by two menacing dogs. Dogs, you say to yourself. Why did it have to be dogs? Now, if you try to do anything with these guys, yes, they will kill you. This dog looks fierce enough to turn you into puppy chow. Well, that's not fun. Um, however, if the path, it, path is barred with more than one, the storm to come to make them run. That is our description of Thundidi. You shouted Thundidi as loudly as possible. Suddenly, lightning begins to flash, and you hear a loud peal of thunder. At this, the dogs recoil. They put their tails between their legs and scamper away. Hmm. The door is now unguarded. Open the door and move inside. You stand in solemn awe in this abandoned house of worship. You feel the presence of long-dead worshippers. Yeah, there are a few things to do here. We will take the goblet. As you fill the goblet, you see the altar move to the side. Wow, you found a secret passage. And yes, that is a secret passage, but... Okay, if you try to move down there... You really don't want to climb down there. There is a spider down there that's bigger than a bread box. Uh, if you try to move down there a few more times, it'll give, keep giving you warnings. Um, but eventually it will let you go down there, and then, of course, you'll die. Um, we are going to use the matches to light these candles. And then we are going to take the candles. This heavy stone bust displays a look of pious self-righteousness on its marble face. Okay, yeah, there's um, something else that we need to do here, but I don't think we can do it yet. We've got to use a spell that, yeah, we don't have. So we will come back here a little later. You're in the backyard, yada, yada, yada. Oh, yes, the bird. You see a bird fly past you. I really don't think that bird actually has any significance to the game at all. But it's there. <laughs> the smiling, key bearing creature prances quickly past you again. He waves his key wildly, teasing you with it as he runs through the room. Now, do, did we already get a key? No, we didn't. Okay, there's a key that we need to find, uh, but we are almost out of time. So I think I will end the video here, and next time we will start digging into the, uh, I guess, the more difficult sections of Uninvited. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.